Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and today I wanted to talk about bud rot and bud mold, because is your bud moldy? Well, today, yeah, I wanted to talk about why that happens, what causes it, and how you can avoid it, because trust me, you want to avoid it. And I did have some information about this in a video maybe like two years ago, but I really didn't go in depth with it, and it was like one topic in amongst like one video, so loads of people have been asking me recently to make one full video about bud rot and moldy bud in general, so that is exactly what I'm doing for you today. But before we get into this video, though, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Edgecoin. Yo, Edgecoin is the world's first stable educational coin, and when I say stable, I mean that it stays at one dollar and this is to provide an open payment system for educational institutions so being able to pay your tuition fees or pay for your student accommodation or for equipment all through edgecoin and they've already got some universities on board like dax university in ireland and they have around 7600 holders of the coin right now and while you're holding edgecoin you actually get given their staking token grade coin so right now when you're holding edgecoin i think you get about 34 percent back in grade coin and these guys have some big plans coming soon so they have a major listing drop in really really soon and you'll also be able to use grade coin in places like sam Box and metaverse to be able to buy land. So as the liquidity of the edge coin goes up and more people are getting edge coin, the price of the grade coin goes up as well. So I think yesterday the grade coin was on like 38 cents and today it's on like 71 cents. So it's kind of mad and it has a lot of potential there. And I've known these guys personally for a long time and I've really loved what they've been doing. I'm really glad they're finally jumping on the channel and sponsoring the channel because they're an educational token and I'm an educational channel. So I really do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, big love to the edge coin guys. Make sure to check them out in the pinned comment down below. And uh, people, remember supporting the channel even just looking on the website for the sponsors really really does help out so make sure to click that link and uh thank you guys let's get on with this video so if you look into bud rot online and you're trying to find educational information about this the only thing you really find is about growing and that's because bud rot as a term is actually referring to a specific type of bacteria that only affects bud while it's growing so that means bud rot and moldy bud are actually two separate things in this video i do want to focus on the consumer side of things but i can't talk about bud rot without mentioning the growing side of things so when it comes to bud rot as a term that actually refers to a specific type of bacteria called botrytis and this is a type of bacteria that can transfer into your plant through either wind or water and if it gets your bud it's very likely that it's going to start causing it to mold and even then it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to mold only if it's really in like a damp condition and the humidity isn't quite right so theoretically when it comes to bud rot and botrytis it's actually pretty easy for people to avoid if they know that it exists and that you can avoid it like if you know that you can avoid it then it's kind of not really going to be an issue for most people so that's kind of the basics of bud rot but what about for the consumers well, I think that's a much bigger issue here because like I said, if you know what bud rot is, then you can kind of avoid it pretty easily. But that's not what moldy bud is when most people are thinking, oh, my bud's gone moldy, right? So regular moldy bud is kind of the same sort of thing as moldy food. Like you don't want to be anywhere near that. You don't even want to breathe that in. <laughs> like if, you, if you've got it in your hand, you don't want to breathe that in. Like stay well, well away. <laughs> but the thing is, moldy bud can be brought on by depending on where you live and what time of year it is and what storage container that you use because it's all kind of different for everyone because again it really does come down to like the humidity so i feel like this is a good time to tell the story of when one of my mates decided to take a tolerance break and he was like yeah i'm gonna have two months of a full tolerance break and i was like yeah all right i'm, I'm down to see you do this challenge and he's like yeah sweet i'm gonna save myself three zipper bud this crazy bud i think one of them was like this amazing batch of smoothie i can't remember what the other ones were but they had this amazing batch of smoothie and two other bits of bud so he's like yeah i'll keep these in storage and then i'll come back a couple months later after my tolerance break and i have this crazy banging super cured bud ready for me to smoke and um yeah so he went back to it uh like two months later <laughs> and it was all just covered in mold because he had put it in a jar he had put the jars in his airing cupboard and he had just left them for two months <laughs> Like he didn't even open them. So yeah, obviously don't do that. But it doesn't have to be that extreme of a situation for this to happen. Like I'm sure some of you guys at some point have had some kind of fresh bud. Like, you know, just recently come down. You've had it in a baggie and it's been a really hot day. Maybe you've kept it in your bag or you've kept it in your pocket. And then later on in the day, you pull that bag out and it's like sweating. And the bag looks like it's kind of, kind of wet a little bit. And yeah, you can imagine if you left it like that, Getting like that over a couple days, you would not be having a good time and it would be going moldy 
pretty damn fast. But it doesn't have to just be a bag. It could also be a jar as well. So it can happen with, with all sorts of things, all sorts of storage containers, but it usually happens due to humidity and humidity change from the bud. And this is also why you need to open your jars, even if it's in like the perfect humidity environment, right? Because your bud itself will still have moisture in it. So if the moisture is coming out of the bud and into the jar, you have to let that out at least a couple of times because otherwise it's all going to collect in there and it's just going to start going moldy. So hopefully you've learned something new about bud rot and moldy bud today. If you guys know any more information about bud rot or moldy bud, I'd love to know it in the comments down below. Or if you have a story about the first time you encountered moldy bud or a time you made your bud go moldy, I would love to read it in the comments because that would be very funny. People, make sure to upvote the funniest story of somebody making their bud go moldy in the comments down below. And uh, people, make sure to hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button down here and the notification bell. That would be pretty damn sick. And our uh, people, make sure to hit up the sponsor of the day in the pinned comment down below. And I'll see you guys on a live stream later on today at like 9 p.m. on Twitch. So, safe on people. See you in a bit.